start out. In this instructional video, we'll learn how to put together an ultraviolet light. This UV setup would be the same for 2 gallon, 6 gallon, 8, 10, and 12 gallon systems. So let's get started. We have the box open from shipping. Normally, the bulb tube and the glass sleeve tube are going to be wrapped with bubble paper and taped up very well. Um, so you'll have, you can leave that on if you like. The stainless steel housing comes with end caps that need to be removed. There's a solid end cap and there's an end cap with the hole cut out for the UV bulb to slide into. Each one of those end caps has a O-ring seal in it and they have a flat spot on the inside and they're kind of coned on the outside so we'll talk about that later. Remove those seals out of each cap Set that aside. The next step would be to remove the glass sleeve which is in the larger cardboard tube. They'll have caps on the ends to, that we've probably taped on so they wouldn't come out during shipping. So you'll have to cut the tape on one of the ends and remove the black cap from the cardboard tube and the glass sleeve will slide out. The glass sleeve has a closed end and an open end. At the open end, take one of your O-rings, they're both the same, identical, stretch it over the open end, making sure that that flat area that we talked about earlier is against the tube. Push it down about three-eighths of an inch. Mine is twisted there so get it good and flat on the flat spot. Take a hold of your tube and the uh, stainless steel cylinder is the same on both ends so it doesn't make any difference which one you slide it into but it's good to have a carpeted surface something soft down below to slide the tube in vertically and work it around till you find the bottom hole there it is and that ring will stay in place to hold, kind of hold it when you pick it up now the other end should have about the same amount of glass as the initial end that we started with from then on, take your open hole cap, turn it on hand tight. That will keep your tube from sliding back the other way while you're installing the second seal. You can take the second seal and stretch it over the closed end of the UV sleeve making sure that it's not twisted and then your sealed cap, your closed cap will go on that end as it gets a little bit snug take both caps one in each hand and snug them up hand tight. That should be sufficient so there would not be any leaks. If you need to, once you get the unit installed and water into it, if it seeps a little, you can snug them slightly with a channel lock pliers. But uh, most generally, hand tight is enough. Next you'll have your bulb which the same type of packing end you have to cut the tape remove the black cap 
and on the bulb you must be careful not to touch the glass you can touch the ceramic ends with your fingers if you touch the glass make sure to clean that off with a glass cleaner or alcohol any uh, oils will cause hot spots and probably cause premature bulb failure okay you can have your tube laying down on a flat surface slide the bulb in up to the outer ceramic locate your transformer and for this purpose we won't undo the cord but find the four pin connector and the four pins on the bulb and you can kind of see there's it's more of a rectangular instead of a square end so it fits only well two ways it can go either that direction or that direction so in this particular four pin plug there was a little bit of plastic in the end that was uh, not allowing me to get it hooked up to the bulb so if you have that you can take a tiny uh, knife pointed knife or something to clean that out slide that in till it stops cover with the black cover so the ultraviolet light doesn't come out and harm anybody and you're ready to mount the unit on the wall uh, you'll ha have a pair of clips that will clip around the uh, stainless steel housing and it can be mounted vertically or horizontally if you mount the unit vertically you always want to run the incoming water from the bottom moving upward that way it gets a good uh, bacteria kill from the ultraviolet light